guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you the basics of bending the strings on your guitar. Now what is bending? That's actually when you play a note and you raise the pitch while the sound is going on. And you do that by either pushing the string upwards or pulling it downwards on the arm of your guitar. Now it depends a little bit on which string you play. Now logically, the lower the strings on your guitar, the easier it is to push it up and the more room you have to push up. The higher your strings on your arm, the easier it is to pull down because there's more room that way, right? So practically, if I want to use bending on the first, second or the third string, then it seems logical for me to push it up for the bending. Whilst the fourth, fifth and the sixth string seem pretty logical to pull down because there's more room. Now, for the third, and the fourth string, you can do both actually. You can do either way because both have more than room enough to go both ways. It depends of course now how high you want that pitch to go. Because most of the times, the pitch that you want to reach through bending is more or less half a tone or two half tones above the one that you're actually playing. But you can go higher. It's not that commonly used, but you can go higher. For example, if I play the 12th fret on the 3rd string, let's say, which is this. That's the G, but it's an octave higher than the bridge right here. That's a G. Now if I want to have the tone of A above that, which is here. But by playing the 12th fret, then I start by playing and then pushing it up until I have the tone of this note, which would be this. And that's more or less that sound. Now it will be probably less accurate than you normally would have if you just played a note at the exact fret, but it has a nice effect. And it is used a ton in solos, improv, and riffs and such. And I gotta say, it is easier to do this on electric guitar, certainly for beginners, than it is on acoustic guitar or classical. It is possible on both of those, but if you have the opportunity to start learning this on electric guitar, then I would advise that and then move your way up towards an acoustic guitar on which the steel strings are a lot stiffer and harder to push and then go up to the classical guitar, which are nylon strings uh, that actually almost roll over the arm of your guitar and that's quite hard to bend as well. Now I bend it a whole tone upwards or two half tones. I can also do half a tone. So from here, that would mean that I have this tone like this. So I don't have to push that hard. How do we push actually? The ring finger is the most commonly used finger for this and the middle finger also is very commonly used for this technique. You can do it both with the pinky finger and the index finger as well, but both are a lot harder to do. And in my opinion, probably the index finger is the hardest to do because you cannot give support through other fingers. So if I do it with my ring finger, for example, I push just before the fret on the string and on the moment that I play the string, I push up. This time I only use my ring finger, but I can try and support that with my middle finger as well by just placing my middle finger on the same string just before the ring finger. And then I push both fingers up on the same string which sounds like this. And I have a lot more strength that way. Now you could say, why don't you use your index finger as well? That way it's even easier and that's true. Though I have seen a video and I actually didn't realize this, but it's very logical if you think about it. There's a guy that I watched a video from about bending that is called Guitar Lessons 365, I think. I will put a link in the description down below to that video exactly. And he explained that if you do it with your ring finger or another finger for that matter, you should probably use the index finger to place that one on the string above the one that you're playing. At least if you're bending up. Why is that? Now if we don't do that and we bend up, 
if we go back, there's a little sound from the strings that you touched in going up, being the fourth string in this case. So if we hold our index finger on that string and we bend that way, if we go back, we don't have the sound because it's muted by our index finger, right? So that was very clever and I didn't realize this before. So I learned recently about that as well. So definitely check out that video if you want to know more about what he says about that. But now that said, there are different variations and combinations of this technique that you can learn, but that will be for other videos probably. Uh, like you can bend two strings at a time or you can bend one string while holding another string. Um, but that is for another video, right? So, I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So, thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. Now, in the third, so that, so practically, that means if I, so practically, seems pretty, seem pretty, it is, but, now I did two half tones, or a hot, now I bended one, because you cannot, because you can, now if we bend up, and we have, now if we bend up, and we have only, so, Definitely check out that video if you want to know. Also, also don't forget to check out my other...